what is good everyone welcome back to another video where today we're going to be continuing the horror game series last time we created some cool effects and interactable doors today we're going to be making some dialogue so sit yes, down sir. get your coffee and enjoy this video Here we go, off the rails, don't you know? step one is creating the gui gui is pretty much a design on the screen the player will see you can also add a script to it to make it different things happen to it so to create a gui Go to start a GUI, click on that white plus button, and then you should see a drop down. On that drop down, click screen GUI and name it to dialogue GUI. This bit is very important because if you don't do this, it won't work. Then, once again, click on the plus button inside the screen GUI and insert a frame. You should see this white square and you can extend it by holding these handles by the edge of it. And just try to make something a bit like this. Cool, so once you've done that, you can turn the background transparency to 1, so it becomes invisible. Alright, good job, but now we need to actually make the text, see there. Alrighty, so pretty much all you need to do is reposition it and edit it. You can edit text by going down here, there's a lot of options like a stroke, font, but I'm going to keep mine like this. Okay, good job, we've completed the first bit, but now we want to have a second bit, which is the objective GUI. So this is pretty much the same. Insert a new screen GUI and call it Objective GUI. Now insert a frame, position the frame like this, and make it invisible. Then, once again, you can insert some text and customise however you like. But once you're done, it should finally look something a bit like this. We can now move on to making the script. That's the GUI done, and this is a design we're going to be using in-game for when the text animates. So we want to make a script. Well, before doing that, we need to actually make a remote event actually a few remote events so to do that go to storage hit the plus button and insert a folder make sure to name it remote event then you can insert a remote event and name it dialog event now make another one just like that but name it objective event now duplicate it two times and do the exact same but all you have to do is add toggle at the beginning so you've got toggle dialog and toggle objective once you've created those remote events we can now delete print hello world and this is where we can start writing this script. This script will be in the description of the video in case you want to save time. But if not, then you can ignore this. Okay. So this is what you're going to write. Alright, so what we're going to write, we're going to write local remote event is equal to game dot replicate storage dot dot remote event colon find first child, which is a toggle dialogue event. Pretty much what we're doing is we're using a variable to make the code shorter because we don't want to have to write out all of this because that would just be boring. So we're just making it shorter. So every time we, we every time we want to get the remote, so every time we want to use this remote event, we all have to write a remote event, just like that. All right. So you're going to go down two lines. You're going to write remote event dot dot on client event colon connect to the function of value and then you're going to go down you're going to write if value is equal equal to true then script dot parent dot frame dot visible is equal to true else script dot parent dot frame dot visible is equal to false and there we go that's the script done all we need to do now is copy and paste it into the second GUI we made which is objective GUI so click on objective GUI and right click and press paste into then go inside that script and change one thing instead of toggle dialog event you can now change it to toggle objective event then we completed with the first script now we can close off the scripts and go into our next bit the next bit is going to be made in the start player folder. This is where all the functions to do with the player are managed. And inside start player, there are two more folders, start player, start character scripts, and start player scripts. But today we're going to be focusing on start character scripts. So hit the plus button and insert a local script and name it dialog script. Okie dokie, perfect guys. This is the end of the script, so now what we can do is we can insert another script inside starter character scripts. And now we can name that to objective script. And now all we have to do is copy and paste the code we just made inside here. And once you've done that, all you need to do instead of having dialogue event, you can change that to objective event and name it to objective script. 
And then instead of having dialogue GUI, we can have objective GUI. And now we can close off that script. main game script you have to go to server script service and name it main game now to make the video not boring and annoying i've left the script for this in the description as well okay so i'm gonna skip through this so we can make the video a bit shorter so i'll see you in a minute and there you have everyone the last script is finally finally done give yourself a pat on the back for completing that because it's actually quite hard when i was learning it it took me ages and so much frustration to get this in my head so now what we can do is test it so now press play And perfect you can see it works and text animates nicely and it says you have to find the door anyway guys i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial it actually took me quite a long time to make be sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video also check out my socials they'll be linked in the description anyway thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video